up. You're live. Oh, there you go. That's us. So you want to mute that? Yeah. Okay. Oh.
we have all the grammars worked out yet. Slides should just be very quiet, but it'll look good. So, uh, and really, we're playing for you, all of you who came here tonight. We're gonna play for you. So, Welcome to our first public Christmas concert in three years. The last, yeah, the last one was a long day in here. Um, I'm so excited to share with you the work that the students have put in for this evening's performance. I'd like to begin first with our Rocky View land acknowledgement. Rocky View schools would like to acknowledge the land and recognize all the indigenous peoples whose footprints have marked these lands from time immemorial. Together we can learn and honor the ways of knowing of indigenous peoples for all future generations. Now, can you turn off your alerts, please? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Um, what does that mean? Uh, tonight we'll feature performances from our jazz ensemble. Few select groups and soloists sharing some festive pieces. And a Latin piece completely unrelated to the Christmas season that was thrown at me today. And we will be closing out the evening with the senior concert then. And the rest of the housekeeping item. There is no food or drink aside from water allowed in the theater. And with that said, if you brought coffee, please take any coffee cups or water bottles out with you after the concert. Uh, thank you for your generous support of the Airbnb Food Bank. I saw a, a large collection out there again. And at our last concert, we collected 180 pounds of food and groceries. And $130 in cash and gift cards. We're collecting again and will be for the next five days in a competition with the rest of the school. So I'm just going to count tonight's for the band the program's collection over those days. Not cheating if I don't tell anybody what he was With the rest of the school. So every little bit helps the community. Um, Thanks, Adam. And if you saw, I'm so glad that I got it. Do you have any slides set us for sale? This is the extras that I got. Um, and for tonight, they are available for a little over $10 each. So if you want to take one home, by all means, yeah. Okay, uh, on with the show. We're going to start with our jazz band, and uh, we will be getting, I'm not going to say the name of it. Our first selection is a song by David. Before 1980. Now make some noise if you were not born before 1980. Okay. Uh, this was released as the second single from their 79 day 12 album, Mouth to Mouth. It was very successful globally, reaching top spots in places such as the US, West Germany, Canada, Austria, Switzerland, Norway, the Netherlands, and Australia. You know it's old when there's a country called West Germany. Um, it was written by musician, composer, and record producer Stephen Greenberg, and the lyrics find from a metaphorical place that will quote, Keep me moving, keep me grooving with some energy. While the band members are dreaming of relocating from their home in Minneapolis to New City. This arrangement is by John Berry with some liberties taken by the students of this jazz ensemble. I don't know what it is, right? Away.
piece by the jazz band is called Runaway Sheep. It was recorded by Bruno Mars and arranged by Paul Martha. This contemporary pop tune from 2010. Still contemporary because they still want to play it. Um, it's actually a throwback to an earlier time reminiscent of the James Brown song style. Featuring an energetic pulse that never quits along with the catch of melody, this chart is, on a, is a real showstopper. Tonight we'll feature solos by Colby McEwing on trombone, Natalie Matley on clarinet, Jesse Jacoby on trumpet, Lucas Poirier on tenor sax, and Ryan Rathatan on percussion. Because he really wanted one too. <laughs> Go ahead, bang on and give a little taste of what they're going to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> Here we go. Sorry. I should have mentioned that we have three different drummers tonight. They're rotating through. On the first song, we had grade nine drummer Lawson Wynn. On our second big band number, we had Ryan Rambutan. On the grade 12 drummer, Taylor Phelan. This is the Queen of Fun. 
Right here. So you're in your <laughs>
before we get set up for the concert band, which will be interesting, the second <laughs> part, if you were here at the last concert, and uh, it was real smooth. Um, <laughs> so this is our little jazz combo that occurred today. And uh, it's going to feature Hannah Will on the trumpet. <laughs> Thank you. 
Our, our next soloist is Aurora. There she is. Oh. Come on out. Okay, so there's the Baker's 
Um, guys and Dolls was Rusty Charlie. The one after that was Honk, which is like the ugly duckling musical form, and I was Drake, the dad. And then I was a much in Drake 5 in the Wizard of Oz. <laughs>
most of the stuff. And then we're, oh, it sounds like somebody crashed into the instruments back there. <laughs> and um, yeah, we're going to get set up. And then I'll tell you about all the concert band music we're doing. Do I have any takers yet for the point sevens? Anyone? Meadowbrook will take them all. He'll take them all. Yay, Meadowbrook. Woohoo! Sorry for those of you who can hold up to the very end of that. Grab them. Thank you, Meadowbrook. Can you use them for your concert next week? That's right. <laughs> Amazing. Yep, you're good.
first piece, the Conquer Band has prepared six songs for you, and our first piece is called Sledding by the composer Greg Danner, and this is uh, in the difference in this to most other pieces we play is it is written for six specific parts, what's called a flexible band arrangement, that way it kind of it shifts all over the place, so different instruments that might not normally get a lead melody or we kind of share the load now. So this particular one captures all the innocence and excitement one experiences when playing in the snow. Uh, with its festive sleigh bells, clever harmonies, and hummable melodies, we are happy to present to you sledding. Thank you. 
Our next piece has been uh, one of the more challenging ones that we've done, so we're going to get that away early. Uh, it's called Sabaga, and the composer is what I wrote. The beauty and fun of a snowy day are captured in this beautiful cinematic work composed by Gerard Hall. A winter scene is painted with bells, gently depicting the first snowflakes on the day of the big race. As the flurries continue to fall, the snow builds and the temple picks up as kids begin pouring out of their houses, head for the hill for the big race, with obligatory snowballs flying everywhere. As the race rages on, we take a moment to recognize the gorgeous landscape spread out below the hill as the racers glide through the soft snow against the beautiful clear horizon. With the finish line in view, the racers fly through the stray snowballs overhead and an exciting finish. Doesn't that paint a picture? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. In describing the ferocity and dangers of a toboggan, I relate to then um, a story of when I was in high school and my brother and I went and took. Our dad took us out to the Cooley, so man-made reservoir, big hills, rocks hiding in the snow, and uh, with our aluminum toboggan. And I was in the front, my brother was in the back, and we, like, it wasn't the last run, it ended up being the last run of the day. But <laughs> we're flying down, we take this big jump, we built it perfect, we were going to get there on this. And we took the jump and we landed. And we stopped immediately. And his weight behind me and the momentum took us crashing over the front of the toboggan. I hit the corner of the curb, so where the curb is, I hit the corner with my knee and snapped the ropes that held it together and bent it over the rock that we hit and we kept tumbling down. And my brother stops, dusts himself off, picks up the toboggan, and like, you're back in the toboggan, and throws it on the ground. I'm rolling around screaming that my leg was broken. But it wasn't broken. Because I was able to get up and hobble back to the truck. And our dad's like, What are you, what are you done for? And my brother's like, Broke this body. And I'm holding my leg, and my dad's like, What's wrong with your leg? I move my hand, and goes, You ripped my coveralls. <laughs> and then I move it more, and like, Oh, don't get blood in your boots. Okay, you gotta go to the hospital. I got stitches, cracked things, it's all fun. Yeah, the bottles, dangerous. <laughs> there are designated places to provide your sleds and slaves and such. So use those and wear a helmet. We didn't wear helmets back then either. It shows, right? It shows. <laughs>
The spirited celebration closed with a short coda drawn to musical material heard in the opening measures. And there will be a short quiz as to what our three shows were at the end of this piece. So <laughs> save your answers, please, and don't yell them out during the performance. Have to the day. Uh, this is composed by Randall Standard, and this piece 
uh, the second of his dances, we did for Dance Will Indian in our first concert this year. This is called Dance Carnival. And it was inspired by the many great can cans, gallops, and quick steps that populate the music repertoire. Featuring the interplay of drama and humor that pervades such great dances for orchestra, like bronze Hungarian dances. Along with that comes a supercharged dose of excitement. Here we go. Thanks for reaching. 
yelling and that we're not done, but I forgot to write that in my notes to tell you that this has a bunch of stuff. And that was a concern of this practice that they were like, what if they start clapping when I do the song? Think of that. And then I'm yelling. Or good for that, I guess. Here we go. Our next piece is uh, this could be one of my favorite pieces that I have to pass like. Turn on. Okay. Uh, it's called With Every Winter's Breath, and it is again it's composed by Randall Sanders. It was commissioned by the band director of the Bayfield High School Band of Bayfield, Colorado, to compose a piece in memory of a student who they who had tragically passed away. This work celebrates life and the beautiful Colorado landscape that she called home. It's called With Every Winter's Breath.
and all of the things that you may celebrate at home. And safe travels out there, and we will see you in the new year.
This is driving me nuts because last time we muted this and it worked for killing the microphone in here. Oh, really? But when we did it this time, it killed all the audio. 